Hello crafty friends, it's Amanda with Makers with Heart and today is the mystery envelope challenge. Yay! As you know, this is my favorite challenge of the month. So let's see what we've got. All right, everyone. Kim has sent us this lovely assortment of Hello Darling papers and she has asked us to not use flowers or stars or basically try to get away from the theme that Hello Darling is projected. And then um, she wants two pops of color from cardstock. We can add any amount of pattern paper as long as we use what's here. And then she does mixed media on the tags and we can do any other embellishments as we want. So um, I think I'm ready to get started. I have this photo that I thought worked perfectly with these. This is my brother-in-law and our grand niece. As I continue to gather kind of the supplies that I'm going to use, I am using a couple stamp sets. One is from the paper pack, um, or it's part of the paper pack, or coordinates with the paper pack, Hello Darling. And the other one is limited edition, and that's the one with the baseball cap. And I just stamped and cut that baseball cap out, and then um, I will add like a number one to it later. And I'm just kind of playing around. The Good Times is the title that I'm going to use that comes from the Hello Darling scrapbooking stamp set. I had to think of what um, stamp I was using. And in the corner you can see this is a sketch for the 30 Days of Sketches Christie's Beautiful Life, Day 25. I fully intended to do something with every sketch this month. And then, um, unfortunately, we had a life event come up and it took us out of the state to go say goodbye to my father-in-law and it's going to take us again the end of the month for his services. But um, things are things like that are important and it was good to, to have that last time to say goodbye. I wanted to let you know the sketch is by Karen Adams Kidwell. And I will make sure to have a playlist for all the people participating, not only in the Makers with Heart Mystery Envelope Challenge, our normal seven gals, but also those doing the 30 Days of Sketches, Christy Beautiful Life. And then I will try to put a link for Karen's um, channel as well so that you can connect and see what she did with her own sketch. And because of the limited paper that we got sent, and I know Kim said that we could add more if we wanted, but I like the challenge of using kind of what's in the bag, what's in the envelope. So I cut these, um, she sent some three by fours down with the bold sapphire stripes and the candy apple. So I cut that in half, kind of emulating where Karen had her two photos because I have the one bigger photo in the center that I cut down to be five by four. I am going to mount that later on some white and sapphire. And I'm showing you here, I got finally the brand new sapphire ink pad with the new style. And so I write the name sapphire on the inside of the lid. So if I have multiple lids open, I know which one gets returned to which ink pad. So now I'm going to jump over and Kim had asked on these tags to use mixed media. And I'm just having fun with it. I got out some stencils from my stash. This is a obviously like a honeycomb stencil and I'm using the sapphire ink and doing kind of just a base on both of the tags with that. And I'm kind of making it up as I go. I know that I want to use some texture paste on it with the um, kind of the hashtags from the Dream Maker stencils. Um, there's four different stencils that come on the one sheet for Dream Makers and one of them are our little hashtags and I absolutely love it. The leaves are fantastic. You've probably seen those tons of places. So here I clean up my workspace and I'm going to go to the next color which is going to be Candy Apple and I have a stencil that has these stars on it that are very um, spread out so they're not, it's not such a open pattern which is perfect for doing these layering. So again with the Candy Apple Red I'm just going to put these um, stars on top of, I'm just layering on top of that honeycomb background. And off camera I didn't show you, but I did put a little bit of um, adhesive on the back of these tags so that they would stay in one place on my piece of um, 
all-purpose mat here. And then here's the texture paste through those hashtags that I was telling you about from the Dream Maker stencil. And I do apologize for my voice today. It's coming in and out. I'm trying to drink broth and clear my throat off microphone, um, but it's just, it's rough. I, in the midst of everything, have caught some crud. So I dry fit everything that where I wanted it, and then I realized I wanted to add just some interest of color. I was thinking about doing stenciling, and I decided I didn't necessarily need more texture. So by just using the blender brush and sage, again, that green leaf that's in the paper. Sorry, Kim, I had to use the flower side of the paper. It's just too pretty, and you know me in flowers. But the um, photo of grandpa with our grandniece is just too precious and the colors worked so I'm bringing in a little bit of the green I'm gonna go ahead and take these star stencil again with the texture paste and I'm gonna make a couple spots of that where my camera lens is now it's hard to see that at the end in the close-up of the layout you can really see these spots these spots and um, they really just add to the overall feel so now I have inked the edges of all of my papers with sapphire or candy apple red. I did cut the little bit of flower paper from behind where the photo mats were so that I could tuck it in here with that torn ripped edge. I know Karen doesn't have that in her layout, but I just, I felt like it needed it. I just, it needed a little bit more interest or rough and tumble time, I guess I'll call it. So um, I snuck some paper out from behind the photo, and then I'm just showing you here how I adhere when I do those ripped edges. And I wanna start remembering not just to rip the outside edges, but to maybe rip some of the inside edges too, because I think that would be kind of neat. Now hold your breath, I'm stamping on my layout. This is the title from that Hello Darling card making or scrapbooking stamp set. I'll have the links below of of what the actual um, stamp set is. I apologize for not knowing it right now. So I have my two tags that Kim sent. I have the hat that I cut out and stamped with the number one on it. Also off camera and they're all turned upside down. I stamped some of the words from both of those stamp sets, the Hello Darling and the limited edition. So there's hats off to you, and I don't know if you can see, but I did some journaling lines right uh, under the hats off to you so that my niece um, can go ahead and add some journaling of anything she may remember from this day. And then I'm just adding in the rest of these words. It's kind of funny. I feel that the words give a, a flow going from the bottom left to the upper right. The hat didn't get attached fully, so I'm going to try that again. Um, and it's, I'm, I'm feeling unsettled with this layout at this point. It's like, it needs something more. And what could come to the rescue for me and filling in that something more without kind of overwhelming things? Sure enough, the clear shimmer brush. And if you've been waiting for them to come back in stock like I have, they are back. Yay. So I just placed an order for some, or actually need to finish placing the order for some. So I primed it a little to get it juicy on the brush and then splattered and then I'm coloring in the hearts from the sticker sheet and this layout is done it again it came together so quickly I had fun doing it and I think it'll be something that my niece will truly enjoy putting in to their album their family album and here you can see the texture of those stars in the background and some of the details on the tags that are harder to see on camera. But I just, it's a sweet little layout and it came together beautifully. Be sure to check out what all the other gals did with their pieces parts from the mystery envelope for July. Thank you, Kim, for this great challenge. I will check you all later. Blessings.